All right, hello, sixth graders. So I know that what we went over today in class was a little bit more difficult than the past few days. So I'm gonna go over question one on the homework. So question one says, convert 14 fifths to a mixed number and then draw or write a short sentence to justify why the two values are equivalent. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is write this fraction as a division statement. So when we say 14 fifths, the first number that we say is 14. So that's the number we put first into the calculator. So we say 14 and then we divide it, divide it by five. So 14 divided by five is two and eight tenths. So we can write this entire decimal here, but the only number that we really care about right now is this whole number two out in front. So in the mixed number that we're gonna get, the whole number is gonna be two. Then we draw our fraction line, and we remember that in the mad shortcut that we talked about, the denominator will stay the same. So the denominator that we have right now in this improper fraction is five, so we know that the denominator for our mixed number should also be five. The next step is to find out what we put in the top of the fraction in the numerator. So we draw a circle around the two and the five, and we multiply these two. So we have two times five equals 10. Two times five equals 10. The last thing that we need to do in our mad shortcut is add, that's what the A stands for. So we need to know how many we have to add to 10 to get us to 14, which was in the numerator of our original fraction. So we can count on our fingers 10, and then we have 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have to add four to 10 to get us to 14. So we have 10 plus four equals 14. So we know that the numerator for our final fraction in the mixed number is gonna be four. So two and four fifths is going to be the mixed number answer for our question. And one thing that you can do to check and make sure you have the right fraction in your mixed number is take this fraction right here, four fifths, and put it into your calculator as a division statement. So you would say four divided by five, and that gets you eight tenths, which is the decimal in the, the it, which is the number after the decimal point in the decimal that we had when we divided 14 by five. So we know that this fraction is correct. So the last thing that this question asks you to do is draw a picture or write a short sentence to justify why the two values are, are equivalent. So a picture that you might draw is, well, I see that I have two holes. So I would have two holes, one hole, two holes, and I see that the denominator is five. So these holes should be split into five equal sized parts. So one part, two parts, three parts, and four and five. So we have five equal parts here, and then we do the same thing with this. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have four out of five left over. So we're gonna draw another box. We're gonna split this into the same amount of parts. But when we color it in, since we only have four of these five, we're just gonna color in the first four. So then we color in this one as well. Oops. And we color in this one. So we can write on this side, well, we know we have one hole, two holes, and then we have four fifths left over. So we have two and four fifths, which is exactly what this mixed number says. But then if we wanna count out how many fifths we have in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Oops, and 14. So we have 14 fifths, which is exactly the number that we started with. All right, good luck on the next question, and I'll see you in class.